So I was recently a passenger on this plane, United Flight 2168. It departed Orange County, California, destined for Chicago O'Hare. United 2168 is a Boeing 737-700. You can see I posted some stuff on Instagram here. It's sometimes referred to as the guppy or the football based on its size and its shape. Anyway, I took video during the takeoff and I went live on Instagram, but once we got airborne and I lost my signal, that video was no longer accessible. I did take some video though. This is climbing out over Southern California and we climbed up to 41,000 feet. And the flight progressed normally for the first couple hours, day turned to night, and then while watching a movie, suddenly I heard a large bang and a lot of vibration. And just for what it's worth, there's a pretty good vibration and uh the left engine looks all right, but uh, maybe the right one shut down. Let's see what's happening. Here's a quick pic I took to send to my wife. <laughs> a little shaky, huh? What wrong with our number two engine, the right engine? Uh, failed on us, so we had to shut it down. Uh, right now we're currently uh, almost done running some checklists for a uh, landing in Tulane, you need to see. Uh, diverting into there. Should be on the ground here in about uh, 10 to 15 minutes at the most. Be a normal landing, you will see uh, some uh, fire trucks that are going to come out and meet us just to make sure uh, nothing's leaking from the aircraft or anything like that. All right, so real quick, uh, you guys heard the announcement, yeah, diverted to Kansas City and uh, lost the right engine, just like I thought, so, uh, you know, you can tell by the bank, basically, which engine was down, and uh, I haven't seen the other side of the airplane yet, but uh, uh, I'll try and get some video of it once we touch down. Approaching at 2168, so we're uh, just coming out of uh, flight level 180, setting to uh, 16,000, we have uh, information... Okay, 2168, Kansas City first, Roger, center maintain 4000, and you went uh, rolling 19 left. Oh uh, yeah, we're going to do uh, set up for 19 left down to 4000 feet. They're going to finish up running one checklist uh, to get out the uh, fire equipment standing by. It should just be a, uh, should be a single engine landing with 15 degrees of land, so it shouldn't be no big deal. I think some grown men are crying as well, not just the baby. 2168, center maintain 4,000, now fighting 330. Okay, down to 4,000, 330 on the heading, United 2168. United 2168, rescue department is on frequency with you. United 2168, United 2168, we're United 2168, uh, yeah, we plan on uh, full stopping here on the runway and then uh, getting a look over and make sure we're not leaking anything. That uh, engine or anything's out of place. Roger. trucks are on their way out here. They're kind of over there. Yeah. Outstanding job, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. 60. Thank you. The funny part is we diverted to Kansas City. I have a house here. So that's the engine that failed. That's the best video I can get of it. I did take this picture and the front end fan section looks normal. As you can see, I wasn't the only one interested in the condition of the engine. I talked to the crew pictured here afterward and they said the pack of the engine, well, it was missing more than a piece or two. Well, something's dripping. Not a lot, but something's dripping. All right, well, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Sorry about the vertical video. I started shooting Instagram video and I sort of just kept it that way. I wasn't planning on making this YouTube video, but I wanted to share the experience. It is the first time I've had an engine failure as a passenger. I've had it a couple times as a pilot, but it's been probably 25 years since that happened. Um, I would have rather been in the cockpit, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it was shaking pretty bad in the back, and uh, all the overhead bins were rattling, and uh, it was a little bit disconcerting at first. 
Um, but, you know, it's extremely rare to have an engine failure, and, you know, we got down safely, and uh, the guys did a great job. Uh, speaking of flying and safety, I've got to go flying right now, so uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you.